Islam has given so much of importance to community. Why? In today's world, everyone wants to live a singular life. Let me go and live somewhere where no one will interfere with me. I'm not going to have to mix and interact. No one's going to know my whereabouts or what I do, what I don't. But Islam says you want Jannah? Mix with people, interact. Subhanallah. Whether you like it or not, the hadith says a better person is the one who interacts with people and bears patience upon the harm that may come as a result of that interaction. That's what the hadith says. But obviously, if it is gone beyond the point where they are driving you and your children away from the deen of Allah, then you can shift away. Then you can. So for everything, there is a limit. But we haven't got to those limits in many cases and we're just walking away. Why is community so important? Have you thought about the reason why the Prophet ﷺ says, Salatul Jama'ati Afdalu min Salatil Fadhi bi Sab'in wa Ishirina Daraja? To read Salah with Jama'ah is 27 times better than to read it alone. Why? Why? There has to be some reason. Because you will gather in the masjid, you will come together. Why did Allah ordain this Jumu'ah as being compulsory? Farad, Jumu'ah. Jama'ah means to gather, isn't it? Jama'ah means a group. Jumu'ah is connected to that. We are gathering together on this day, Friday. Mashallah. Why? Allah wants you to meet each other, to talk to each other, to greet each other, to know each other, to stand up for each other, to help each other, to support each other. That's how you will get Jannah. Make it meaningful to live in society. And I tell you how that will happen when you make it meaningful for someone to come to the masjid. When people come to the masjid, greet them, smile at them, talk to them. Make them feel appreciated. Make them feel welcome. Wallahi, the community will prosper. Today, unfortunately, we're involved in gossip, slander. We make someone feel this way, that way. We have robbed and stolen and been corrupt to the degree that we cannot come to the masjid because we fear what this one and that one might say to us. And sometimes people pass very cutting remarks and chase people out. Let's resolve matters. My brothers, my sisters, come what may. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. And like I say, sometimes we will try and we will continue to try. If there is no response from the other end, you have fulfilled your duty unto Allah. This can happen. It can happen within family, within society. But that does not drop. It does not drop the status and the value of community, family, society in Islam. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلَ لِتَعَارَفُوا إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ Allah says, we created you in different nations, different tribes, etc. In order that you recognize each other. You may be different to recognize each other. The most honored in the eyes of Allah is the one who is most conscious of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, when Allah created us, yes, we will be different. There will be differences. We have a community, a society. Let's learn to help one another. Today we are going through struggles. Don't make it worse for someone. Either help or leave them how they are. But don't make it worse. If you are the source of the sadness or grief of someone else, you need to change that. You need to be the source of some form of happiness, a smile. When they see you, they are so reassured. That's my brother. That's my sister. They're not going to harm me. That's the whole essence of Assalamu Alaikum. 